Hi class, I wanted to give you a brief tutorial on how to create a multiple linked website inside of thimble.org. So Thimble is a project of Mozilla and the link to get here is already posted in Blackboard. So we would go to thimble.mozilla.org. You'll need to create an account, which I'm sure you already have, but um, I'm signed into my account, so I'm just gonna simply click on the upper right hand corner of my account. And then I'm gonna click on new project. So as Thimble builds a new project, you'll see on the left hand side are our files over here. And then from files, it moves into our editor and you can see our basic HTML code here. And on the right hand side is our preview column. And what this does, Thimble's a really great tool because one, it's free, so you can load this in your library. All you need is a web browser to run this. And while we're talking about that, I would recommend using Google Chrome right now because we have a mix of PC and a mix of Mac users. And Chrome works pretty much identically on both the Mac and the PC, so it'll be helpful if we all just use Chrome uh, so we can be on the same page. But the, the page is split into thirds, and as we look at the Files button, or even before there, on the upper left-hand side where it says Untitled Project, I'm gonna name this project. I'm gonna call this Homepage because this is a page that we're going to make. I'll click Save, and now the title of my page is called Homepage. And when you go to your account, next time you'll see Homepage listed as one of your projects. So we have that named now. Another thing that we have under Files, this little green button here, it's not the most intuitive, but this button gives you a new file. And now when we're making HTML pages, in HTML page you've got to think about it as a folder. So the initial page that you go to is going to be called your index page. So that's index.html. And index.html is what the editor is showing you right now. So that's our basic page. If we were to add a second page, we would need to name that page something. So let's say our next page that we're going to make is going to be called About Me. So I'm going to click on New File. And we have a couple of options. We have Add HTML File, Add CSS File. CSS we'll be using on the next project. Add JavaScript file. JavaScript allows us to um, make the page more interactive. So if you have a button and when you click the button you want something to happen or if you want the user to input maybe a, a sign up sheet like an email address that the user could upload, then you could do um, a JavaScript file for that. You could add a tutorial, which is a neat thing. So if you wanted to build tutorials for your students that you work with later, you can add a tutorial inside of here. You can create a new folder and new folders are helpful when we start using images inside of our web pages. Um, we're going to use an image for this page, but right now we're just going to link out to images that are already online and pull those into our web page. And then of course we have the upload of files. So if we wanted to upload something like a, a video or an MP3, we could upload a file there. And then we can also download all of our files as a zip file at the end of the um, project if we wanted to hold it and keep it locally for ourselves. So let's go back, we'll come back to this button later. But let's look at our index page. So on index, this is starting off, you can see the lines are numbered from one through 15 right now. Line number one is the document type is HTML, and now our code starts. So we have our first code, which is HTML, and line number two in HTML, just as a refresher, is telling our web browser to open up and read this file as an HTML file. The next section is our header, or our headings. Now inside of heading, so heading is at number three, you'll notice that line number four says meta, character set equals UTF-8. So meta stands for your metadata. And metadata is terms that we can start using so that other websites can find us. So you'll hear the term uh, SEO for search engine optimization. So a lot of times what that means is we're trying to tell a search engine to find our website. In order to find our website, search engines send out things called crawlers or spiders that go out looking for different metadata. And when they find that metadata, they, they put it into their search engine and then start ranking your pages based on that. So if we wanted this page to be about ourselves, our metadata might include our name, it might include some of our interests. You could put whatever you wanted in, inside of there. But right now, the data is uh, telling us which character set we're using, and that's UTF-8. So we're gonna, uh, not going to deal with metadata quite yet. 
So line number six is our title. Right now the title of the page just says Made of Thimble. And we're going to change that right now to your name. So I'm going to put my name, but you'll in insert your name for title. That's line number six. Number seven, it's the link. It's looking for a style sheet, and it's going to style.css. We're going to focus on style sheets next week, but for now, we'll just ignore line number seven. And we're going to focus on lines eight through 15. So line number eight, our heading is now closed. You'll see the backslash head. So our heading is now closed, and now begins the body of our message. So we have heading one, and when I refer back to our Word document that has our assignment on it, what I want to do is first change the title of the page, so that's line number six, which we just did. The next one is to write a welcome message. So right now it says body at line number 10, heading one, welcome to Thimble. I'm going to delete Thimble, and I'm going to say welcome to my home page. And what you'll notice as I'm typing in the HTML editor, on the right hand side you're getting the preview. So now my preview says welcome to my home page. And you can see it's in heading one. So it starts header one. And then when we finish home page, the code is already there to stop heading one. Next we have a paragraph space at line 11. And if you look at the preview, that's the space between welcome to my home page and the text. And now the text starts off with make something strong, amazing with the web. So I'm going to change this. I'm actually going to change all of that. I'm going to say this is my first web page. Welcome. I'm just learning HTML. All right, so that's, that's going to be my index page for now. So I'm going to save that. And it, um, what's neat about Thimble also is that it has an auto save function. So this is already saving in here. I'm going to show you a couple more buttons. We're not going to really worry about this aspect yet, but I just want to show you that it's here. So if we look at the preview pane, there's a couple little buttons here. So one of them says toggle the element inspector. Another one says preview in desktop mode. And the next one says, oh, it doesn't say it, but it says preview in mobile mode. So when you're designing for the web, you'll notice that sometimes you'll use your phone for the web and the web page might look different. So when I click on the web view, this is now what the web page would look like on a mobile phone. And you can see that I'm getting a warning right now. It says uncaught type error cannot set properly to the scroll top null. So that's something we, we would have to fix if you wanted to transport this web page from a desktop to the mobile phone, which we'll deal with later. But for now, just know that that option is there so that we can view it either as a desktop or we can look at it to see how the phone, or how the uh, content would look on a mobile phone. But let's move to the next part of the assignment. And the next part of the assignment is to add a About Me page. So I'm going to go to the left hand side of my screen to Files, New File. I'm going to click on New File. I'm going to add an HTML page. And you'll notice that. We now have index.html, and now we have index2.html. I want to change the name of that index2 just so that I know um, what this page is going to be called. So I'm going to right-click it. I'm going to hit Rename. I'm going to name this About Me. Or actually, I'm just going to name it About. So this is called About.html. Now, when you're writing file names for the web, you cannot use spaces. Everything, if you're using multiple words, is going to have to be connected either with a hyphen or with an underscore. Otherwise, the computer won't be able to read it because the, the space between the, the text, uh, the computer won't be able to find. So you're going to need to get into the habit of using dashes or underscores. And actually, it's a good habit to be in in general when you're saving files is to always connect your words together with either an underscore or a hyphen so that um, other computers can read what you have. Sometimes a, a file saved on a PC with a space won't read on a Mac, and vice versa. And sometimes uh, even files saved with the spaces in between them on one version of Windows won't work with another version of Windows. So it's just good form to always save the, your file names with hyphens or underscores. So let's go back to our About page. So we have this page now. And if you look at your Word document, there's a little bit of text I asked you to type. So there's three directions for this. One is to open a new page, which we just did. 
name the page about. And number three is type the following into the body section. And what I ask you to type is, hello, I am your name, a student in the MLIS program at Queens College. I'm currently taking my courses. And there's a couple of things to add here. So I'm just going to copy and paste that because I'm making the tutorial, but I want you to actually type it in. So I'm going to go to line 11, right, because lines 1 through 7 are basically our heading. Actually, let's go ahead and change the title. So at line number 6, I'm going to make this about me. At line number 10, I'm going to change the heading to my name. Okay. And now I'm going to change the body here. I'm going to paste in my message, which says, hello, I am, and where it says your name, I'm going to change that to Dr. Joe Sanchez, and instead of student, I'm going to say I'm an instructor. Okay. Now, one thing I'm going to need to do, you'll see right away that there's a paragraph that ends. So I'm going to need to add the code for paragraph here, which we all know is the bracket P bracket, and that's going to start my new paragraph. And the next paragraph says in this class, I'll learn how to make a website with HTML. I'll also learn how to create wiki pages and use social media for the workplace. Okay, after that, the next part of the assignment says to add, and because I'm going to make a new paragraph, I'm going to put my paragraph tag, and I'm going to add, you can contact me at, and I'm going to type in my email. But what I want to do here is I want to use the code for my email now. So the code for an email tag, I'm going to open this up. It's going to be, I'm going to make a space here, bracket, A space, href, href means ref, or we always say ahref, and we're going to say equals, and you'll notice that when, as soon as I typed in equals, I got this uh, little menu here that popped up of my file names, and the reason that's there is if we wanted to reference a file that we already have, say a picture, um, Thimble is just helping us out there, but we're going to ignore that and just keep typing in by hand. So because I'm typing in my mail address, I'm going to put in quote, because I'm making a, uh, a reference to something, and the reference that I'm making is going to be mail to, the word mail, M-A-I-L, the word T-O, parentheses, I'm going to type in my email address, so you can see mail to jose.sanchez the number two at qc.cuny.edu. That's my email address. And there's a quotation mark that ends that section. Now I'm going to close the first part of that tag. And now I'm going to just type my mail. So what my mail means, right now the code has a href equals and then a quotation. The quotation is telling the email program to launch mail to that particular email address. But what's happening is the web browser is reading that between those two parentheses. But if we want the actual user to be able to see this in text, we have to type in extra text there. And that's why we have my mail. So my mail means uh, that's what the actual user is going to end up seeing. So I'm going to click on my mail. And then I'm going to have to add my text here, which is a backslash a, and that uh, closes it, and that's going to create an email link. So that's one thing we can do. What I want to do is, earlier I typed in my mail, but now that we have a link, I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to refresh my viewer over here, and now you can see that it says Joe Sanchez as the title of my page. Hello, I'm Dr. Joe Sanchez, the instructor in the MLIS program at Queens College. At the very bottom says you can contact me via mail. Now when I put my mouse over my mail, you'll see at the very bottom of the screen, 
you get a little command that says mail to Jose Sanchez to at qc.cuny.edu. That means that my code works. So if I was to click that link, that's going to actually launch an email to that address. Okay, the next thing that I want to add is to go back to my home page or go back to my home, home being our home page or, or our index page. So let's do that now. And in order to do that, I'm going to put go back to, I'm going to put a paragraph tag actually first to make a space. Okay, so now I have go back to, and you'll notice sometimes when you click a home page, you'll have a button that says go back to my home. So I'm going to put go back to my, I want to put the code in here. So to go back, I'm going to put open my bracket, which is shift and up, a href equals. Now you'll see that uh, I'm getting this little menu again of a file to reference to. I'm going to go ahead and select that file. So the file that I want the browser to go to is my index page, index.html with a quote. And then I want to start closing this tag up. So you'll see when I added that parenthesis, the rest of the code popped in. This is one of the good things that Thimble will do for us. It'll, it'll put pieces of the code back in here for us. And now I'm going to type in, go back to my, I'm going to put home page inside of there. And now that's going to create a link back to my home page. So I'm going to refresh the preview pane by clicking that little circle with the refresh button. And when I hold that over, that should take me back to my home page. You see how that worked? So when I click on my about HTML page, where we were, and you can see I spelled home page wrong, so let me add that P in here now. Okay. When I click on home page, that's going to take me back to my home page. Now, these two pages are linked in one direction. It's linked from the about page coming back to my home page. But now I need to add a link that goes from my home page to my about page. So right now, our text says, this is my first web page. Welcome. I'm just learning HTML. I'm going to put a period. I'm going to put a page break. So I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to add my page break, which is this paragraph. I'm going to say, read more about me. Now, actually, I'm just going to put a read more about, and I'll type the about me in, uh, in code. So now we want to go to a link. If we want to link this page, we're going to put the same thing that we did before. Actually, let's put some space between this. Okay, so we're going to do open bracket a href and you'll see why we call it href it's just we refer to it so frequently that some of these codes have short names for it a href equals and you'll see the drop down menu here I'm going to put to go to about html and you'll notice it says about.html with quotes in it because it's telling it where to go and now we want to close the tag and we want to add the readable text so I'll put about me, that's the part that's going to be read, and now it should be set. So I'm going to click on refresh, and now the page says read more about me, and it links to my about me page. And if I click my home page button, it goes back to my home page. So now we have two pages that are interlinked, and we now have a website with interlinking pages. So we've done the majority of this assignment right here. So. If we wanted to do something else, we can also add links to Queens College. So one of the uh, things I'm going to do is go back to my About page. And let's see what line this is. This is line number 12. So 12 where it says, hello, I'm Dr. Joe Sanchez, the instructor of the MLIS program at Queens College. Let's say that I want to make Queens College into an active URL. So I'm going to go ahead and type that code in now to make this a live URL. Now the code for this is going to be ahref again. And it's going to follow the same system. ahref equals quotation marks. The name of the website, quotation marks. Close the parenthesis. Add the readable text, which will be MLIS program at Queens College. And then close it up. So I'm going to add that right now. 
So to do this, I'm going to put parentheses a space href equals. Now I'm going to put a quote. And I'm going to type in the URL for Queens College, which is HTTPS. Actually, this is to our uh, GSLIS program. Colon slash slash sites.google.com slash a slash qc dot cuny dot edu slash gslis slash okay so that's the actual url for our, our website and now i'm going to put my quote my quotation so my quotation is there now and after my quotation i'm going to close the parenthesis and now I'm going to add the readable text. So I'm going to type in MLIS at Queens College. And that should be my code. So I'm going to click on my link. And you'll see that now my preview sent me out to the Queens College webpage or GSLIS at Queens College. All right, so that's the, uh, the how this works. The next thing that you're going to have to do is add an image to your website. So on your about page, I'm going to go ahead and preview this again. I'm going to want you to add a picture of yourself. So I have a picture of myself that's already online. I have my faculty profile page. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this URL. And I'll show you what I have here. I'm going to click a new tab. Okay, so this is a, a picture of me that is already on the web. So to show this picture, and remember, this is a public, publicly viewable image of myself. If you have an image that's in Facebook, you're going to want to make that image publicly visible or else the web isn't going to be able to show it. Only people on Facebook will be able to see it. So you can put a picture of yourself in... Um, you know, in Google, on Flickr, on Facebook, on Instagram, as long as you make it publicly viewable. So I'm going to grab this URL. Now I'm going to go to Thimble, and I'm going to add a picture of myself underneath the home page. So I'm going to make one more paragraph break. And now I'm going to type in uh, the picture of myself, or uh, basically how to uh, get to the picture of me. So I'm going to do the code that's at the bottom of the handout. First, I'm going to center my image. So I'm going to put center, and that's going to tell it to center the image. And now I'm going to enter my image, which is going to be IMG. Okay, so now I know I have an image coming. Actually, I closed my tag a little too early because I need to put the source. So the source is going to be src equals. I'm going to put a quotation mark because right, the quotation mark tells us the that we're going to a URL. I'm going to paste my URL in. And then my quotation mark finishes. It'll give me a preview. So when you type in your URL or you paste your URL, if your picture doesn't pop up, that means that your URL is incorrect or that the image that you're trying to share is not public, in which case you're going to need to fix that and find a public image that you can use. And the last part of my code is the close to center. All right, so that's my picture. I'm going to go ahead and reload my page. And now you'll see my picture is at the bottom. So what I'm going to want you to do for this assignment is basically follow along with what I did. You're going to create an about you, a page about your interest, which is a new page we haven't done yet. Write at least two paragraphs of text. I want you to create links to different web pages inside of that text. Add a picture of yourself, link your about page to your home page, and then link all of your pages together. And that's basically how you use Thimble and how you create multi-linked websites.